Welcome, I'm Collins Marita, the Financial Inclusion and Insights Country Manager for Kenya. I'm going to present to you brief insights on financial inclusion in Kenya. Financial inclusion in Kenya is driven by mobile money. Currently, 7 in 10 Kenyans are financially included. Since the inception of mobile money in Kenya in 2007, the financial sector has experienced tremendous growth. With so many people now included, growth has hit a plateau, showing only single-digit growth in the past three years. During the same period, the financial sector has seen greater movement in active use and advanced use. Advanced use has experienced double-digit growth over the past three years. Listening to this video, we all share a common interest. That is global financial inclusion and access to financial services for all. We can't help but ask ourselves, what happened to the over 30% who are not financially included? To address this question, there is a group who know of mobile money and are not using mobile money. This group is 20%. They are young, most between the ages of 15 to 24. They live below the poverty line, have attained up to primary education and live in the rural areas. One of the key barriers to access, accessing financial services is readiness. Readiness comprises of having the basic numeracy, having a national identification document, which is key to having a registered account, ability to send and receive text messages, having at least one active SIM card, and having a mobile phone. Ability to charge a mobile phone is a point point that is related to having a mobile phone. By addressing this particular pain point, we might have greater success in addressing this particular barrier. There have been certain changes in the Kenyan financial sector. One of those changes is the appointment of an incentive bank governor who has sought to institute policies that, are, that, 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 are sought, that seek to help the ailing banking sector to be more attractive and competitive. The other key change is the entry of Equitel, which is owned by Equity Bank. With these new changes, they, may, they will provide more opportunities to bring non-users to the fold. Thank you for listening. That has been Financial Inclusion Insight in an Instant. For more information, please go to www.fininclusion.org.